Could you give me a summary of the research you presented here today? Sure. Um, we have basically presented some research, research today regarding indoxifen, which is a tamoxifen metabolite that is uh, metabolized in the liver by an enzyme called CYP2D6. And we know that in patients receiving tamoxifen therapy, uh, there are different genotypes for the CYP2D6 gene, and those genotypes can affect the levels of indoxifen that are circulating in the bloodstream. And what we've gone on, uh, clinical data has shown that, that patients receiving tamoxifen therapy who can produce high levels of endoxifen actually perform quite well as their survival rates are increased and stuff versus those patients who pr- uh, produce low levels of endoxifen. And one of the questions that we wanted to, to try to begin to address is why is this? Is endoxifen concentration truly important? And if so, how is it functioning in breast cancer cells to either repress their proliferation rates or block the activity of the estrogen receptor in those cell lines? And so what we have shown today is that uh, endoxifen can cause estrogen receptor alpha to be degraded and re- therefore reducing the levels of that receptor that are found in the tissue. And we know that it can also block ER alpha function. And it does, uh, does this quite well at concentrations that are found in those extensive metabolizers who perform well in tamoxifen therapy, uh, but is pretty ineffective at doing that in, at concentrations that are found in poor metabolizers. Um, we've also shown that these same concentrations can inhibit breast cancer cell proliferation, while the low concentrations of estrogen do not. What impact is this likely to have for clinicians or... Well, uh, one of, I think that one of the things that both the clinical data indicate and that our data indicate is that CYP2D6 genotyping and, and sequencing of that gene in patients uh, probably is something that should start to be become more common of a practice. Because if an individual has mutations in that gene and therefore won't, will not metabolize high levels of endoxifen, they're, they're not going to respond very well to tamoxifen therapy. So those would be the individuals that would need to be treated with a different drug. Uh, while patients who who are wild type for this gene would probably do quite well in tamoxifen therapy. There's also some hope, uh, maybe down the road quite a ways after some more extensive research, that endoxifen could be developed as an alternative drug therapy. And so if we could create endoxifen into a drug that patients could take, we wouldn't have to worry about their CYP2D6 genotype status.